Hi, this is the Tarot Runes and Oracle reading of the day. So this is universal messages for us all to learn how to transform our life with insights from our subconscious, the guides from the angels and our spirit guides, and also God itself. So let's have a look at what we need to know today. So this is what we need to know. Need to know. With tarot, oracle and runes. So on a universal aspect. Do check out the zodiacs for each of your signs. But on the whole you do have the four of Gabriel. So this is a great card for gratitude and mini celebrations and huge celebrations as well. So when we're grateful for, about where we are in life, we can set up the bigger picture, the bigger things within our life. So those great aspects of engagements, weddings, births, new homes can always be celebrated with friends and family. So it's about sharing and really knowing that what we build upon is what we have. So using our imagination and really love within our hearts, we build the greater things for our life. So this is a very stable card. It's, it has a foundation for amazing qualities within your life. So really know that you can achieve these things. When we go and see other people get married, other people have babies, it's a sign, it's a sign to you that you can have these great things within your life if you choose to have them. Also, guys, you have the four of Ariel as well. So this is a sign that money is around, but we have to learn to share. So when we think, oh, that's OK for other people, but maybe I don't want that, then sometimes we have to trust the ability to, to have things come in our life. And, and to flow out. So it's ever increasing circle of, of change and self-belief and really trusting ourselves and the situation around us. So when we have that kind of poverty thinking that I'm not good enough or oh, I've got to save for a rainy day, um, that's not really believing that money will come in, your situations will come in. So really don't be kind of, you know, um, hard on yourself. That This is about really going out there and really knowing that your situation will arise, definitely, because of the four of ones. That's celebration. Also, you do have solutions. It's always good to have a solution. So this is the alchemy. This is a change. This is nurturing who you are as people. So it's a healing card. So if you don't quite trust the universe or you don't quite trust your situation to have the greater things in life, this is the healing card about really nourishing and really seeing the balance between self-doubt, self-disbelief about what is going on and your own belief. So all these things need to align. So it's alignment and that is the balance about seeing your fantastic situation there. So if you are just believing that your soulmate's not there, your committed relationship's not there, one has to tweak inside and heal properly, have that self-empowerment and really know that your situation is coming about. Your perfect ideal job, your perfect loyal, trustworthy relationship. These two major aspects within our life we want a lot of the time. So this is putting things into perspective and finding the answers of change. It's changing one thing that's not working into something that's glorious. All right. And also for you, you have the five of Ariel. So when things are difficult for yourselves and it seems a huge, big challenge, then remember it is the long term goals and not the short term goals. So remember, life can be very challenging and we are here to learn those lessons. But this is also another card for you to look at your well-being of mindset and of the heart and really know that your angels are only there 
and your spirit guides to be asked and, and really look that if you need help along the way in whatever shape or form that is to really have that fantastic aspect of the four of wands then still be grateful for who you are but also the energies around you Focusing on the positive and the love will always bring more into your life. And this is all has always been about the temperance card. So really understand that that is possible within your life. One more tarot card for you. And this is the page of Gabriel. This is standing up for yourself and being strong, supportive in a new direction. When we find those new directions within our life of trust, of self, and trust that the universe will provide all those things that you do want we don't have to fear so this is about just being a little bit kinder gentler to yourself and going along this journey of self-belief all right <coughs> wow so let's have a look at the oracle for you guys and then we'll do some runes So this oracle is the shaman's dreams. So this is a nice oracle for you guys today. So let's have a look at the message of the day for you. So we have, oh, I love this for you. Heart, home and compassion. If we don't have compassion for ourselves, then how can we have um, the good things within life? So th this is about the four of wands energy, uh, the start of that energy of our, of our home, of our happiness, and it all starts from ourself. So notice that gorgeous pink glow, the magenta, the unconditional love. It starts from God, the God force of love comes down. We need to channel that unconditional love to ourselves, opening up our home our this is our home our, our soul and our spirit lives within us so this is our home life and we need compassion for it you know it's worked hard all these lifetimes you know and particularly this lifetime so be kind and generous and loving to your heart yeah and then all those better things will come towards you so it is important um to look after your home do you know if you start to do that people will notice and they will be inspired by it as well so that's good so let's do some runes let's shake <laughs> shake the runes up and we'll throw a few runes for you to see what's going on got quite a few today we'll be here all day right okay so the first one is ingus so that Othello, sorry. So with Othello, this is what we inherit. So a lot of the times we do inherit um, poverty thinking. Um, sometimes we we've inherited um, an ability within childhood not to learn how to love. So all these things that we have inherited um, from our family about compassion, empathy. You know, sometimes we hear negative things uh, around us and it's almost like we believe it. So as responsible adults that we now have the ability to go, hold, hold on a minute, um, we, we need to really self-assess um, if these things are true. So this is very much about um, what you had here with the four of um, uh, earth, about holding on too tightly to certain things. We need to let them go and really explore better things within our life. Also, also you have, um, <laughs> I'm just looking, you have this great card, which is opening up to the fire elements. So when we have the fire, it's like the passion, the desire to move forward. So it's all about how we work hard. So these challenges that you've had here with the five of Arion, this, this is very much about that of how you can cope but how you can actually uh, manifest things to actually stop the pattern of abuse self-abuse in our minds self-abuse in our heart and that's why you have the shaman's oracle about compassion of the heart 
So these two runes are very important for you to actually uh, you know, grasp. Also, <laughs> also guys, ah, we got Rido. We had that yesterday. It's still on your journey moving forward. So really learn to trust yourself, trust the angels, trust who you are as a person to be able to move forward uh, on a success. It is a journey, the soul journey. So learn to trust yourself and trust the universe, but have that gratitude that things are all going to work out fine. All right. So thank you for listening today. Have a great day and we'll see you all tomorrow. Do check out the Zodiac Reads as well and we'll see you all later. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>